Hi guys and welcome back to another Semprint TV video. In today's video, myself and Michael Finlay are going to react in as 2-2 draw away to Hellas Verona. Be sure to let us know down in the comments below what you made of the match. Hey Cammy, uh, yeah, uh, not much to say after that really. Um, just really, really disappointed. We, we were non-existent in the first half and uh, yeah, the the first goal was silly. And Danovic shouldn't be getting beat at his near post. And I was a bit disappointed by Diego Vadim being a good five or six yards deeper than the rest of the defence, which kept uh, Lazovic on site. So that was a bit disappointing. And then for the remainder of that half, we our midfield was non-existent. Um, we couldn't really create any chances. And every time Lukaku gets played the ball by his teammates, it's always his, the ball to his feet and he's back to the goal and every time he was doing that he was just trying to lay it off for someone else which isn't working we've seen it so many times where it's a very 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 rare occasion that something comes of that and um, the point that I'm trying to make is proved in the second half by when he is played at the ball at his feet he actually does, decides to turn his man which we know he's more than capable of doing he takes a shot it hits the post false can of his feet and he scores um, in the second half we were a bit better we did start pushing forward and trying to create more so I was happy with that and granted our goals were a little bit fortunate but um, I mean it wasn't for the lack of trying the first goal it was fortunate the way the ball landed at country of his feet off the post and I'm just glad he was able to tuck it away the second goal again Fortune on our side where Candreva's cross comes off to Marco's chest and sneaks in the uh, near post. After that, um, the writing was on the wall really what was going to happen, especially with um, Conte only making two subs. He has five available. You can see the players are getting tired. And yeah, Valero wasn't tracking his man uh, when Rishmani was pulling forward and squared it to Veloso and yeah what else more can you say he tugged it in the bottom corner that was it two all and then after that you, I mean nothing else was going to come of it so yeah I'm just really disappointed um, I thought it's the story of the season really especially since we came back from the restart yeah some really good points raised there Michael I mean I can't really say I'm surprised whatsoever that we've managed to once again throw points away I mean it seems almost like every game now it's happening and I mean I think it just goes to show that there is something seriously wrong and seriously lacking in this team I mean as, as I say it's almost every game and what what can we do I mean I think the sooner the season ends we can gut the team and bring in new bodies the better because I think this this season's done um, with regards to the match as a whole I mean the first half was perhaps one of the worst first half performances we've seen this season absolutely atrocious worst possible start going behind early doors and I mean we just couldn't get close to close to Verona who played really well and I mean Barn Sanchez testing their keeper kind of near the end that was about all we done and I mean we really needed a really good performance in the second half and thankfully we got that well for the most part anyway um, two quick goals one from Kandreva and then one from Kandreva, well, which was massively helped by a deflection from DeMarco, put us 2-1 ahead and, I mean, it was looking good. Our tails went up, we started controlling the game and Verona weren't really troubling us whatsoever and it looked like we were going to see this game out for a change, but as kind of time crept up to the kind of full-time whistle, we got a bit shaky and Inter being Inter, we flew away with Miguel Veloso tying things for, for the home side. I mean... There was there was absolutely no no way that this should have happened, especially given the way we dominated that second half. And once again, it's another frustrating performance. And thankfully, games are coming quick and really quick. And you can maybe hope for an immediate reaction. But that's what we said after the Bologna game. We were hoping for that in this game. We didn't get that. But whether we see that against Torino now, just kind of remains to be seen. Moving on to the top and flop section for the video this week, then. What was the top for this week, Michael? It's always hard in games like these to pick the top, um, especially after performances like that when it's an opponent where we should we should be beating them. Um, 
so yeah it's hard for me to pick one I have decided to go for um, our reaction when we came out in the second half it was um, it was a lot more positive we came out actually showing that we wanted to win the match and we were attacking and trying to create as many chances as we could uh, obviously we didn't get the result we wanted in the end um, but that brief moment where we did take the lead and we were shown like what we can do then yeah it was a good mo it was a good period but uh, other than that uh, yeah there was not really much else to speak of special in terms of positives yeah I agree with you there as for the flop I'm going to go with Antonio Conte and his I mean, I don't even know what you could describe it as his lack of substitutions. Um, it took us 70 minutes to bring on our first. We then brought on the second a few minutes later and then it took until two minutes before the full-time whistle for him to bring Ericsson on. We only used three of the five subs available to us and I just can't help but think what, what could have happened had we made all five changes? Could things have panned out differently? Could we have put the game out of sight had these subs been made earlier? But... The fact Conte seemed so reluctant to make substitutes was very bizarre. Um, yeah, j just something I can't understand. So that is certainly the flop for me this week.